afternoon and welcome to HYCM Insight with myself, Giles Copeland. Now, the market move for the session ahead is as follows. There is a strong interest rate differential in place now between the Bank of New Zealand and the Bank of Japan. The Bank of Japan has been suffering from long-standing deflationary forces for years and it's not anticipated to raise interest rates. However, the RBNZ, in contrast, is anticipating rising interest rates around four times next year. This makes for a very clear case of dip buying for investors on pullbacks in the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen pair on these rate differ differentials. Uh, the, seasons or, the seasonals are also fantastic for the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen pair too. You can just see here we're breaking out of this key weekly trend line that goes right back uh, multiple uh, years going all the way back to 2014. We have a second test here in 2021 and this is a probable trend line but typically these very large trend lines tend to hold. As a result we are expecting dip buyers from any retracements back down to this sort of 79.50-79 region. Now the seasonals are also very strong. If you just take a look over the last 10 years the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen pair has risen 70% of the time between October the 26th and December the 1st with an average return of plus 3.77%. Largest gain was in 2014 with a 9.42% rise. And the largest loss was in 2017 where it registered a relatively mild minus 1.04% loss. Major trade risks. Well, any significant breakout of COVID-19 in New Zealand could negate this outlook as could a monetary policy shift between the RBNZ and the BOJ. Remember, Seasonax is a really great product. It's very easy to change the different times on the calendar. Say you wanted to just look at uh, one particular time, you can just very easily move the uh, cursor on the seasonal calendar and that can give you the different patterns that are returned for each time of the month or you could do it over two, three months, or even over a few days, and you can search multiple instruments in the search bar. It really is a very handy, easy tool to use, very intuitive. It wouldn't take you uh, very long to use it before you very quickly understand how to get the, the best out of its uh, uh, programming and software capabilities.